Moby Dick, by Herman Melville. Chapter 43. Hark! H-I-S-T. Did you hear that noise, Kabako? It was the middle watch. A fair moonlight, the seamen were standing in a cordon, extending from one of the freshwater butts in the waist, to the scuttle butt near the taffrail. In this manner, they passed the buckets to fill the scuttle butt, standing, for the most part, on the hallowed precincts of the quarter deck. They were careful not to speak or rustle their feet. From hand to hand, the buckets went in the deepest silence, only broken by the occasional flap of a sail, and the steady hum of the unceasingly advancing keel. It was in the midst of this repose, that Archie, one of the cordon, whose post was near the after hatches, whispered to his neighbor, Acholo, the words above. Hist! Did you hear that noise, Kabako? Take the bucket, will ye, Archie? What noise do ye mean? There it is again, under the hatches. Don't you hear it? A cough. It sounded like a cough. Cough be damned. Pass along that return bucket. There again. There it is. It sounds like two or three sleepers turning over, now. Caramba. Have done, shipmate, will ye? It's the three soaked biscuits ye eat for supper turning over inside of ye. Nothing else. Look to the bucket. Say what ye will, shipmate. I've sharp ears. Aye, you are the chap, ain't ye, that heard the hum of the old Quakers as his knitting needles fifty miles at sea from Nantucket. You're the chap. Grin away. We'll see what turns up. Hark ye, Kabako, there is somebody down in the afterhold that has not yet been seen on deck, and I suspect our old mogul knows something of it too. I heard Stubtail Flask, one morning watch, that there was something of that sort in the wind. Tish! The bucket!